What's up guys, it's your girl Miss LB and today we're going to talk about how to set up your author table at a book expo. Now, book expos are so important for authors. Not only is it a great way to network with other authors, it's a great way to meet new readers. I always encourage new authors, um, experienced authors, get out and go to book expos so you are meeting readers and networking with other authors. However, if you're anything like me, when I went to my first book expo, I was like, okay, what do I do with this table? I was confused. Um, I Googled some things, I YouTube some things, and everything that I came across was really expensive. Now, we all know authors, especially new authors, do not make a lot of money. So, I had to kind of wing it, and I'm making this video, hopefully, to help you guys not make some of the same mistakes that I made. So again, everything in this video is to try to set up your table to look nice for as cheap as possible. Now, we're gonna start with this table is four feet. Now, I'm using this table because it's, I had it in my office, I use it to study with. Your average book expo table is gonna be six to eight feet. It's very important that you find out from the venue what size table you will be provided. And I say that because your banners are gonna come in all different sizes. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a banner that will fit the table for the event that you will be um, hosting. Now, tablecloth. This is a little dollar store tablecloth. Most venues provide you with a black linen tablecloth free of charge. However, you want to ask, don't assume that, you want to ask, will you be providing us with a black um, tablecloth or any kind of tablecloth, it doesn't have to be a certain color. Or when you pay for your table, they'll normally send you a welcome package and that information will be in there. Never assume that they're going to automatically provide you with a tablecloth because it will make your table look awful if you don't have some kind of tablecloth on it. You can purchase a black linen um, tablecloth from Party City for $9.99 and just carry it with you. And that's what I do a lot just to be on the safe side. Now, let's start with the banner. This banner I purchased from Office Depot, Office Depot or Office Max for $19.99. Very basic. This was my first banner. Um, basically, that's who I am, authorist Miss LB. And I just put my, because I do use Instagram more than Facebook, I just made sure I put my follow me on Instagram. So for the basic $19.99 or $29.99, um, it depends on the size of your table, you can get a plain um, table banner made. These are called table banners. You can get that made and you can just make sure, well, what you want to make sure you put on there is at least your name and your social media following. And if you have a website, include that also. Um, I got this at the last minute because the book expo I attended, I didn't know I was even attending to two days before. So I had to rush and get this. Now, the one that I have a little nicer that I have made, these run about $100. I'm sorry, guys, excuse me. This one has my logo with my name and my picture. Now, this is my backdrop for my YouTube videos. Most of the time, if I go to a big expo, a book expo, I will wrap it around the table. So that's, again, why it's important to find out the size of the table that they're providing you. But we're going to go back to basics. This one you can get for six, um, six feet table, six foot table, $19.99, um, eight foot table, $29.99. Okay, very important, flyers. You have to have flyers, guys. And I'm gonna tell you why this is so important. First of all, these were purchased from Vistaprint. Now, these are a little extravagant and only because I hand these out on a day-to-day -day basis. So I made sure I put my name, these are my two main books and my picture. I paid for 250 of these, maybe $49. However, you don't have to go that route. You can just have your author name, you can have your books that you wanna put on there, and you can get 250 of those for about $19.99 in Vistaprint. Again, I just went a little more expensive um, because I do hand these out everywhere I go. It's very important to always have cards and flyers on you. These are important, and I'm gonna tell you why, guys. When you go to a book expo, the average book is gonna run you $14.99, $19.99, some of the books even run $29.99. 
Well, when I go to a book expo, I try to buy at least five books from five different authors to show author support. Once I hit that limit, I will go to each author table and I'll make sure that I get their card and flyer. Why? Because if you're a reader like me, I have Kindle Unlimited. So I will either download your book on my Kindle or I even pay the 99 cent to, you know, support the author and make sure I leave a review. Again, if you don't have these, once they walk away from your table, that's it. They're not, it's at a book expo, it's 20 different authors there. They're not going to remember you. They're, if you have to jot it down on a piece of paper, you lost the sale because they're thinking that's unprofessional. They're going to throw the paper away. They keep these. They're impressed by these. They will go home. They will remember your name. They will pull out this flyer and they will still order your book on Kindle. Just because you don't make the sale at the book expo, if you back up yourself with the flyers, I guarantee you, you will still clinch the sale at some point. Next, biggest mistake I made. You need thank you bags. Man, the first book expo, I got the, the customer brought the book. I signed it and I handed it to him. And I said, geez, I didn't even get a bag. Make sure, guys, you want to have your table as professional as possible. You want to present yourself as professional as possible. So make sure, guys, that you get thank you bags. I'm reaching for my price list to give you prices. You can get the bags. They are a, you can get 100 bags on Amazon for $11.98. $11.98, guys, you can get these bags on Amazon. Great, great, great investment. Next, display stands. Second mistake I made, had all the books flat. As you, this is your author table. When they're walking by, if your book is flat, it, it takes away from your whole table. They're not even gonna stop at your table because that just is too much. Put your book up on a stand you make your book pop just like that it's eye-catching yes i like it let me stop at this table guys you can get these display stands again amazon for fifteen dollars and 69 cents i'm reading off my price list um a 12 pack is fifteen dollars and 69 cents this is the most important investment on this table that you can make it makes your table stand out it makes your book stand out it grabs the readers when they're walking by on Amazon, they are called book display stands. Book display stands. Again, let me check my list. I want to make sure I'm telling you the right price. You get a 12 pack for $15.69. Best investment you can make. Bookmarks, $500 for $20. Amazon. I know you guys like you say Amazon a lot. $500 for $20, guys. These are a great gift just to show your appreciation to the customer for supporting them, for, I mean, for supporting you, uh, for buying the book. You're at a book expo. They're buying um, hard copy books. They love these. They love these. These are $500 for $20. Make sure you don't get anything too wild and too crazy with skull heads and blood because you're catering to all the readers, guys. So I like never give up. You know, I try to get um, um, motivational things, different things, um, follow your heart. Try to stick with things motivational. Um, they give you a variety in the 500 pack. So these are awesome. It's a great little thank you to the customer to show your appreciation and they love them. Next, everyone has an iPad at home. Everyone has an iPad. Your children have an iPad. Your brother or sister have an iPad. Your husband or wife has an iPad movie trailer these are the new popping things in the book world a hundred dollars you can get your and if um, you can leave me a comment i know people who make these get a movie trailer made for your book guys these are just a awesome awesome investment it catches the reader's attention watch it makes your table just stand out it makes your table look so nice they're gonna stop and say hmm let me see it, it, it's a it's a screen it's a movie it's gonna grab their attention and they're gonna say, well, let me see what this book is about because the, the trailer is just eye-catching. This is such a good investment. I'm sure someone has an iPad laying around. Get you a movie trailer made for $100, guys. You put it on loop and it'll go, go, go until the book expo is over. I can't tell you how many sales I made, guys, just off of my trailers. $100 and you just won't even know how that investment will pay off.
last but not least, a candy dish. It gives your a table a nice little kick. When your reader is standing there reading the back of the book, they dig into the candy dish and you know they talk and they joke. A dollar candy bowl, a dollar a dollar general, the bag of candy is a dollar. You always wanna make sure you ask the venue, can you provide that? I've never had a problem with bringing light refreshments to a venue. It's, it's just makes your table look cute and, and trendy and fun. So, and then here you just have like an extra stack of your books. Like this is the book. You have an extra stack here. You have an extra stack there. And of course, you'll probably have a box of books under on the floor. So again, guys, this is a cute little fun table um, that you can basically get everything off of Amazon um, for about $70. Um, maybe I'll say 80 if you just don't get the cheap tablecloth and go ahead and get the black linen one it would even look a thousand times better with the black linen one so i'm gonna hit play on this again while in this video hopefully this this helped you guys it was some helpful tent uh tips in here i know i was lost when i was first trying to find out how to set up a book expo and i wish i could have found a video like this to help me along the way so guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel author miss lb uh, for more just helpful author tips, again, this table was put together for about $70. Everything is on Amazon. Um, this is, of course, what you have in your own supply of books already and iPad. Um, if you need an iPad in the books, you know, it would be a little extra, but I'm sure someone would have something like that that they'll let you borrow for a day for a book expo. Um, again, that's the banner. And if you want to just pizzazz it up, you can always upgrade your banner down the line. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like the um, video. Talk to you later. Author Miss LB. Bye-bye.